Platinum rubber is well known for causing problems when making molds with 3D prints. Soraya Tech thinks they've solved this problem with a new rubber called Defiant, and it's made specifically for making molds from 3D prints. They asked me if I wanted to test it, and I said, sure, I'll try it out, so let's get going. To test this new rubber, for fun, I whipped up this little character in Blender, sliced him in Chitubox, and printed him in the three resins that Sirea Tech recommends as most compatible with Defiant, Build, Fast, and Blue. It's pretty hard to see what's going on in a resin printer, at least until very late in the process, but you can check the screen on the printer and that tells you where it's at, and you can correlate that information with their slicer and that gives you a very clear picture of what's been done and how much there is left to print. Soraya Tech recommends a very specific process to prepare the prints for molding. Clean the prints with alcohol, then give them a 30-minute soak under water and ultraviolet light, then use a hairdryer to make sure they're good and dry. That done, the prints should be ready to cast without any further preparation. Time to slam these kids in the cup, and to do it, I broke out mankind's most magnificent material, Sticky wax. Defiant is a pleasure to work with. It was easy to mix and de-air, and it's got a really nice pouring consistency. As always, I'm pouring from the bottom up, letting the rubber push the air out of the way, and being careful where it passes through the gaps between the arm and the body, places like that. Also, I was careful to make sure that I didn't catch any bubbles in the deep sockets in the eyes. And while I was pouring rubber, I decided to test a little sample of PLA. I was curious to see if Defiant would have any cure inhibition issues with an FDM filament as opposed to the resins. It's cold in the shop, so I thought it would be a good idea to fire up the hot box, which is nothing but an old refrigerator warmed up by a couple of reptile terrarium heaters. It gets to be a nice cozy 80 to 90 degrees in there, and that really helps the rubber cure nicely. Okay, let's check the PLA sample first. Looks good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, peels right off. Absolutely no inhibition at all. Cool. That's a good result. Let's do some cup shucking so we can get to cutting. If I have one criticism of this defiant rubber, it's that I don't like the color. I don't like white rubber. It's harder to cut, and it's much harder to see on camera so I prefer a rubber with a medium value color. It's not just harder to cut a white mold, it's also harder to close up a white mold. It's just, it's just a little hard to see what's going on. But this rubber is nice and firm, so it does close up well. Here I'm just using a single rubber band knotted and doubled, and that's all that was required to close up these molds nice and tight. Because I have three different printing resins, I thought I'd make the castings in three different colors. Here I'm using UD dyes to color the urethane. This stuff is unbelievably powerful. Just a couple of drops is all you need. And don't let that stuff get anywhere you don't want it because it will stain like crazy. The resin's ready. Let's pull it from the pot. Time to see what we got. You don't know until you know. Oh yeah, nice and clean. Okay, another winner. Last but not least, Orange Boy, looking good. I would call this rubber a raging success. It worked with all three different kinds of printing resins, and it even worked with that little PLA sample. So I'm definitely gonna be testing it out on more filament prints. This is 25 Shore Platinum Rubber, and the rubber that you guys regularly see me use on the channel is also 25 Shore, but this is a tin-based rubber. Platinum Rubber is tougher, it's stiffer, it's harder to cut, it just feels stronger. This material on their hand is softer, it's more flexible, it's easier, to, it's, it's easier to cut and stretch and work, and the big advantage to tin rubbers, they're less expensive than platinum rubbers are. But platinum rubbers come in handy in a lot of specific situations, like casting clear resins, like food grade stuff, uh, all kinds of different situations where you need to use a platinum rubber, including if you wanna make durable molds off of 3D prints. Hey, I hope you liked this video, and I hope you learned something and got something out of it. If you did, watch this video next. 
Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. All right, kitties, are we done? Are we done? Are you gonna get painted soon? Probably not. I'll probably just leave you the way you are. Here, let's have a little, have a little dance, have a little circle. Here we go. A little confab.